Wide to the left goes Jimmy Smith. The Wolverines without field position so far in this 76 Orange Bowl Classic. Bell deep, Lionel close. There is a rollout, and it is Ricky Leach over the 20, the 25, the 30, the 34. Up over the 35-yard line comes Ricky Leach, the fine little freshman quarterback from Flint, Michigan, who was average coming into the ball game, about five yards a carry on 100 carries even coming into this contest against Oklahoma. He was finally driven out of bounds by Sid Brown, the cornerback. And so Michigan now picks up their third first down of the ball game. Mike? Bob, Oklahoma's been hurt a lot this season with misdirection. That time, Leach faked the misdirection. I mean, faked one way, came back on the misdirection, and again hurt the Sooners earlier. A reverse had hurt them. So it's first and ten for Michigan on their own 32-yard line. There is Bell Deep. There's Lytle with the ball up over the 35, twisting, turning his way over the 36-yard line. Goes Rob Lytle, brought down in there by Tony Bryant. Bryant coming into the game with 86 tackles. The Port Arthur, Texas junior, 245 pounds. As Michigan is controlling the ball, even though they have been on their side of the 50-yard line throughout these first 10 minutes. An intercepted pass has been the key in this first quarter by Oklahoma. And now the Wolverines are set with second and eight on their own 35-yard line. Bell deep, Lytle close at the slot on the tight side. Jimmy Smith back for a pass is Ricky Lee. He's going to run with the ball up over the 40, cuts in at the 45. And it's first down, Michigan, as the Wolverines now have four first down. And for the first time this, after, this evening, they are in good field position, having a first down on their own 46-yard line. Bob, an interesting thing. The University of Oklahoma coaching staff felt they had to make Rick Leach throw the football. They did not want him in an open field on a busted pass pattern. And twice he has turned uh, good plays after faking the pass and running, and he's hurt Oklahoma back. I can see why. He's a four-letter man in high school football, basketball, track, and baseball. He's an excellent baseball player. He sets his team first and ten on his own 45-yard line. He goes to the left, cuts back in over the mid to straight down to the 44-yard line of Oklahoma, goes Ricky Leach again. This fine freshman keeping the ball as Oklahoma is coming. Covering Gordy Bell for the pitch. They're covering Rob Lytle out there for the handoff. And Ricky Leach kept the ball that time, moved over the midfield stripe line for the first time in the contest. The Maize and Blue have the ball on the Crimson and Cream 45-yard line. It was Leroy Selman who stopped Ricky Leach, who may have picked up Michigan's fifth first down of this contest. Four minutes and five seconds remaining in the first quarter. No score for Miami. As Michigan won the toss, the opening kickoff went into the end zone, and the Wolverines, after picking up a first down, then had a pass intercepted. And since then, the Wolverines have been battling out of the shadow of their own goalpost. But right now, they have it in excellent field position. First, it'll be second down. He's about a six inches shy of the first down, 18 yards in from the far northern sideline. Wide to the left goes Keith Johnson. Wide to the left along with him is Jimmy Smith. Bell deep, Lytle close, third and 12. Drop back pass, he's being chased. He's going to be dropped back there and now he gets away. Ricky Leach is going to run the ball. He's up over the 45, the 40. Cuts it to 35 and he's down to the 32-yard line. And he may have picked up another first down for the Maize and Blue. As Michigan's Ricky Leach eluding would-be tacklers of Oklahoma. And that's the one thing Barry Switzer didn't want to allow happen is for Ricky Leach to run. And he ran well that time as he eluded those Oklahoma men and were having a measurement. And it was Leroy Selman, the number one defensive man for Oklahoma, who put the brakes on Ricky Leach. And he's about six inches away. And there's only one man going to make this decision. And that is old Bo George Patton Schembechler himself. Will Michigan go here? Or will they go for a field goal? Putting in both tight ends now. Here comes Smurgy along with Johnson. And Michigan will go for their sixth first down of this first quarter in the ballgame. No score for Miami.